Hi there, everybody, and welcome to Z Code Sports System. Here we develop automated systems to help you win big every single time. It doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we have you covered. Before we get into some games from Major League Baseball for August the 15th, I want to invite you to join. You'll have access to the VIP Club section, which has all the great tools to help you make your picks and make your picks successful every single time. So we're going to take a look at some games here from Major League Baseball. A full slate of games for August the 15th, and so we're going to get started right here. The first game we want to look at is the Atlanta Braves and the Washington Nationals. In this National League East matchup, the Braves are battling with the Phillies and the Mets for first place in the division. The Braves are burning hot versus dead for the Nationals. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you can see that the Braves are up at plus 24, while the Nationals are down at plus 3, with the Braves on an upward trend and the Nationals on a downward trend. Drew Smiley is scheduled to pitch for the Braves, and nobody is scheduled to pitch yet for the Nationals. Smiley is 8-3 with a 4.41 ERA. You can see his very positive profit at plus 505 on the pitcher profit oscillator, so take that into consideration. If you're looking at the totals predictor, this will give you an idea about the over and under bet. You can see that the Braves are trending in games over the line, and Washington is also trending way over the line. That would give you an indication maybe to bet the uh, over. But if you take a look at the uh, scores predictor, that also gives you a little bit of an indication going the same way. Atlanta 9, Washington 3 with 70, almost 72% confidence in the bet. So what I'm feeling is going to happen is I feel like the Braves are definitely going to win the game. Uh, bet the over. This is, should be a very excellent play this week. The Reds and the Philadelphia Phillies. Both teams are battling for playoff positions in the National League. The Phillies have a plus 17, as you see here, plus 17 to plus 10 advantage on the power ranking indicator, but you see both teams are on a downward trend as of late. As the Braves are, uh, Braves, excuse me, the Reds are average down and the Phillies are average status. You can see that the Reds have lost their last three games and are three and three over the last six, while the Phillies are four and two over their last six. Sunny Gray is scheduled to pitch for the Reds. Uh, the Phillies have not yet named their starting pitcher. Gray is four and six with a 4.40 ERA, but has been a relatively poor bet at minus $245. If you look at the total predictor, you see that the Reds are trending in games over the line, while the Phillies are playing in games over the line as well. But if you look at the scores predictor, you see that it's Reds by a 4-3 margin with a pretty high confidence in prediction of 75%. So this, this score would indicate under. The total predictor indicates over, so I would avoid betting the over under in this one. As far as for the outcome of the game, I actually think the Phillies will do well at home take advantage of home field, and come away with a win. Several other games on tap. You see it's a full slate of schedule for Sunday. Got to take a look at the New York Yankees and the Chicago White Sox next. The Yankees are looking up in the American League East, while the White Sox are dominating the American League Central. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you can see that the Yankees have a plus 16 to plus 13 edge. Both teams are on a downward trend. The Yankees are average up at the moment, winners of four out of their last six, and the White Sox are average at the moment. After coming off a four-game winning streak, they lost their last two to the Minnesota Twins. If you're looking at the over and under in this one, you can see that the Yankees have been trending in games under the line for quite some time now. And you can see the White Sox are now trending under the line as well. The totals predictor shows that. But what does the scores predictor show? The scores predictor also shows a low scoring contest. The Yankees winning by a 3-1 margin with a 70% confidence. I like the under in this one, and I like the Yankees to win on the road. The Cardinals and the Royals. This is another interesting matchup in this Midwest interweek battle. The Cardinals come in burning hot, winners of their last two and four out of their last six. While the Royals are ice cold down, you can see here that uh, they have lost their last game and they've lost four out of their last six. J.A. Happ is scheduled to pitch for the Cardinals and Chris Bubeck is scheduled to pitch for the Royals. 
If you look at the totals predictor to consider the over and under, you will see here that the Cardinals are trending in the games over the line, while the Royals have been trending in the games under the line for the last couple of weeks. If you take a look at the scores predictor, you can see that we have the Cardinals by a 7-4 margin, but the confidence of prediction is only 40%. So take that into consideration when you're looking at this game. Take a look back in a day or two before the game starts to give it a better idea as for the confidence in prediction. But as far as the way we, uh, we think that the score is going to go and the game, I believe that the Cardinals will come away with the win, but I would avoid the over and under at this time. Tampa Bay and Minnesota. Oakland and Texas see a full slate of games. Colorado and San Francisco. The next one we want to look at is we keep scrolling down through the list here. San Diego and Arizona. Toronto and Seattle. Plenty of games to look at. This is the next one. This is the game of the day, probably. The Los Angeles Dodgers and the New York Mets. As you see here, the Dodgers come in burning hot versus the Mets ice cold up. Both teams are battling in their divisions, National League West and the National League East, for top spot in the division. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you can see here that the Dodgers are at plus 28. They have been an up and down team, but you can see they're up from plus 17 just a little less than a week ago, and the Mets are up from plus 2 up to plus 5. The Mets won their last game, but they are just two and four over their last six. All the Dodgers, you can see, have won their last four, including the last two over the Phillies. Max Scherzer is scheduled to pitch for the Dodgers. Despite a great record of nine and four and 2.670 ERA, right, he has not been a very good bet, actually, at minus $63, and the Mets yet have not named their starting pitcher. If you're considering the over and under in this game, we'll take a look at the totals predictor. You see the Dodgers trending in games over the line while the Mets are trending under the line. The scores predictor, let's see what they indicate as well. The scores predictor gives the Dodgers an edge with an 8-3 score with a confidence in prediction of 62% at the moment. So what do we think is going to happen here? I think overall this is a game where I am leaning towards the Dodgers to win comfortably actually, but I would avoid betting the over-under, but I think they definitely have a great chance of winning with Scherzer on the mound. So there you have it. So those are the games for this week. I hope you enjoy. Happy betting. And we will see you here again next time.